videos over volume of cylinders, cones, and spheres. In the first problem, we have a cylinder, and the cylinder has a diameter, which means it goes all the way across, of 14, and a height of 11. So when we're solving our cylinder problem, we first want to take the diameter and cut it in half. So half of 14 is 7, and that's what we're going to use for our radius. Our formula is V equals pi R squared H. So we're going to plug in our radius, 7, and our height, 11. 7 squared is 49. Forty-nine times eleven, the height, is going to give us five hundred and thirty-nine. And then the directions tell us to use three point one four for pi, so we're going to do five thirty-nine times the three point one four value to get sixteen ninety-two point forty-six. Now the directions tell us to round to the nearest tenth. Four is in the tenth place. The six tells us to round up. So that means that our 0.4 is going to round up to a 0.5. For number two, the cone, we have a cone with a radius of 20. And then our height going down our cone is going to be 24. Our formula is V equals pi r squared h divided by 3. So we plug in our radius of 20 and our height of 24. 20 squared or 20 to the second power is going to give us 400. 400 div times the height, 24, is going to give us 9,600. 9,600 divided by 3 gives us 3,200. And then the directions tell us to use 3.14 for pi. So 3,200 times 3.14 gives us an answer of 10,048. There are no decimals, so we do not need to round. For the last problem, we have a sphere. And in our sphere, we have a radius of 22. We're going to set up our formula 4 pi r to the third power divided by 3. We plug in our radius 22. 22 to the third power is going to give us 10,648. We jump over pi and we multiply that number times 4, which gives us 42,592. We're going to divide that number by 3 and get 14,197.3 repeating. Now remember, don't clear out the calculator. Leave that point repeating in the calculator and multiply by the pi value 3.14 to get an answer of 44,579 point. For our case, we're going to do 6.2 because 6 is in the tenths place. The 2 tells us to round down meaning that 0.6 stays the same.